and a project to YouTube also, so that when um, when the you know, class is full, all those all those who come in will also be able to. All right, so guys, you're welcome to class. I'd like you to please let me know your name and where you're joining us from, all right? Please put it in the chat box. I want to take the next five minutes to just get us to know each other. Put it in the chat box, please. Let's know your name and where you're joining us from. Let's have that, let's have that quickly, please. Your name and where you're joining us from. All right, Nifemi Drojai from Lagos, fantastic. I need you all to mute your microphones, please. Maybe I, I, I mute everybody. All right, happiness from Lagos, fantastic. Godwin from Quara, wow. Happiness from Lagos, good. Rachel from Ibadan. Samuel, Samuel, you're calling, you're, you're from where? Akuridi from Illinois, fantastic. Chukuma from Lekki, Lagos, Sylvester from Lagos, great. Tosin Ola, 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 Tosin Ola from Lagos, Yinka from Ibadan, Helene Olaiwala from Ibadan, Francis from Lagos, Tumininu from Yaba in Lagos, um, Ojobolu Atife from Ondo City, Business Development Manager, fantastic, I'm glad, I'm glad that you put that in there. Itsuno from Ileife, Bukumi from Iju, um, yeah, okay, Samuel from Lagos, Abisala from Lagos, Oluwa Shegun from Lagos, I mean from Ilorin, pardon me, Oluwa Shegun from Ilorin. Nelson, I see you, kindly mute your microphone. Um, I think I need to mute everybody. So you will need to unmute me. All right, so, okay, now I've muted everybody to avoid uh yes all right guys you're all welcome nelson from abuja lola from lagos okay fantastic fantastic it's good to have you all it's good to have you all around it's good to have you all around you know um <laughs> funny story funny story um we almost didn't have this class i i literally just rushed in about um 10 minutes ago or so but thank god that we're having this Patrick, software developer from Lagos. Great, great, great. Thank you all so much. You're all very welcome. Now, because this is day one, I need to introduce the club to you and other things about the club before we go into the lecture for today. Yeah, my name is Femi Adisa. Some of you may know me already and some may not know me by name. Um, I think the network is bad, right? It's okay. It's okay, okay. All right, so my name is Femi Adisa. Um, business coach, entrepreneur. By God's grace, I started the Bible Billionaire Club last year. So about 2013, 2014, thereabout, um, I started teaching some of my friends um, about finances, how to manage their resources. You know, I, I thought that those things were like regular things, but somehow, some way, um, I, I teach it and one person built his house. Someone else was struggling, you know, living in an inner, inner part of town struggling, you know, to send his students to school and all that. So then I started mentoring him, started teaching him stuff. And then before long, he was able to move out and live in a better place. In fact, the last time I saw him, he had a new car and all that. So I was doing this for pockets of people here and there. And then my wife, thank God for a good wife. <laughs> if you're not married yet, pray to God for a good wife. My wife told me, she said, and I'm, I'm always telling my wife, so I'm always teaching her, you know, telling her stuff in out. So she told me, she said, these things that you're telling me, don't you think that it will be very beneficial to people outside there? I thought, I mean, it's no big deal now. Everybody knows this stuff. But then she said, just start sharing it. So I started sharing it on social media. And as I was sharing it on social media, um, I started seeing the results. I said, I was called hashtag money Monday. I started seeing the results and the results was really good. I mean, people's lives were literally changing. And that was when I thought, okay, this seems to be something that you know, needs to be taught to many people. Before long, you know, after a while, we died a natural death on social media because I could be a bit busy sometimes. 
And then later on was last year or so, picked up again and I decided to call it. In fact, I had this heavy burden in my heart from God. Heavy burden in my heart. It was like everywhere I went, I saw a Christian that was not doing well financially. And it was hurting me deep down inside my soul. So I decided to start the Biblical Bologna Club. We started last year. Um, by God's grace today, we're over 5,000, maybe 6,000 or more now. And um, in the last few months that we started, about 12 months um, plus or so, that we started, a lot of people have actually had their lives change. In the Biblical Billionaire Club, there's, there are two parts of the club. There's the general club, and then there's the premium club. Now, in the general club, we meet once a month, and to be honest, because Sometimes I could be a bit busy. Um, we don't even meet in a month, but we're supposed to be meeting once every month. In that club, it's absolutely free of charge to be a part of it. But in the premium club, those are the people who pay. They are in the inner circle. When I share testimonies with you, they're usually from people in the premium club. All right? So those in the premium club came together. And, you know, we come together and we have classes seven times every month. Seven classes every month. For them, I'm totally committed to them. Why? Because they paid. All right. So we have seven classes every month in the premium club. And many people have shared some of their stories. I think if Omolola is in class today, I'm going to ask her to share a story later on today. So at the end of the class, um, we're going to ask Omolola to share her story. Because what I'm teaching today is similar to what I taught Omolola and what she did and, you know, the results. So we've had We've had one I'm very excited about. Remy Lekun was earning about 450,000 naira per month. She does pizza, you know, snacks, and she doesn't do it in Lagos, in Ilaro, Ilaro State, not a big city. She was earning about 450k per month. Learning the things that she learned in the club, she was able to raise that 450k and then now makes about 1.2 million naira every single month. These things excite me. It's because of this kind of stories that I am running this club that I, I will, by God's grace, you know, I'm, I'm in real estate, I'm a ghostwriter, and I have, you know, certain other businesses, and by God's grace, I'm not yet a billionaire, although I'm a billionaire, by God's grace, in my, in my heart already, and then I'll manifest it very soon, but I'm already in the 100 million zone. I will literally leave some of my work to teach people about financial, financial success because sometimes I remember the stories. Sometimes I remember someone like Yeti, for example, was had only one stream of income, which was a salary. And by the time she joined the club, she established a new stream of income. And now that stream of income is an employer of labor. I'm telling you, I'm saying her side also <laughs> has grown so much. She cannot handle everybody by, the, by herself. She has to employ more people to help her. Just yesterday in the class that we had, because we had a class in the premium club, we have classes on Thursdays and on Saturdays. Just yesterday in the class that we had, Ayo shared her own testimony also and said her side hustle is now becoming so overwhelming for the bookings she has in, um, I think it is next month, October and November. Were you here when, when she shared it? Is it October and November that she said? I think October and November, except for the bookings that she has, if she's unable, she said she has started trying to recruit, she has started um, doing interviews, but if she's unable to find a staff to work for her for October and November, she will have to refund some of them's money. And this is a B2B, a business to business, not a B2C. She's not dealing with individual customers to organization. And she, organizations, she has so many organizations that wants her services such that she's thinking if she doesn't have anybody to help her, if she's able to get the staff that she wants while she's doing her interviews, maybe she should have said Now, these are stories of people, there are more. These are stories of people in the Biblical Billionaire Club. I welcome you to the Biblical Billionaire Club, and I believe by God's grace that very soon I will be sharing your own story also. At the end of this class, if um, Omola is in class, because what I'm teaching today is similar to hers, I will have her share her own story with you personally. People's lives are changing and it's exciting. It's honestly very exciting. It's, it makes it worth it for me, makes it worth it, all right? So even if nothing else, nothing else, 
um, excites me is these stories that excite me. This book, for example, I just looked at this and remembered. This book was, was given to me by someone, a member of this club, who is not in Nigeria, she's in the UK, all the way from the UK. And it's the book I use now because I'm, I'm so glad, I'm proud, you know, just to have it from her because it's from a member of this club and because it's a sign that I'm impacting some people's lives. So um, she wrote something in it. I hope I'm able to find it now. She wrote something in it. Anyway, she wrote a thank you message and all that. That's Tayo. Tayo. So Tayo, thank you very much. I think it's good I mentioned your name. Thank you very much, Tayo. So things like this. I remember um, sometime not so long ago too, somebody sent me a recharge card and all that. And these are people who are in the Biblical Billionaire Premium Club. You know, the fact that, and even as I'm saying it, I'm, I'm excited myself, I'm excited, I'm, I'm trying to control my you know, emotions. You know, the fact that I can be teaching things that seem like they're just normal to me and people are being blessed. And the truth is, I wasn't born with this knowledge. Um, I'll share a bit of my story with you. And I hope that we'll have time because this class just will be one hour. Um, when I started working, in 2010, when I started working, my salary was 30,000 naira. 30,000 naira. Now, that's not where I would have loved to work. Of course, nobody wants to graduate from university. I went to the Redomas University, private school, graduated with a second class upper. I think I'm quite intelligent. I had my eyes, you know, for the oil company. You read some of these things in my book. This is um, the manuscript of my book. The um, printed version is still with the printers. This is the manuscript of my book. Guys, can you all hear me clearly? Can you all hear me clearly? I need to be sure that um, you can all hear me. So if you can hear me clearly, just put it in the chat box and say, I can hear you loud and clear. All right? Let me be sure before I move on. Fantastic, great, thank you. So this is the manuscript of my book. You read some of this, my story in my book. So that's how to get rich, stay rich and get richer. So God told me, stay in that organization. That's where I want you to be. Now, honestly, it's hard because I, I had my mind, thank you very much. I had my mind in an oil company. My dad happens to have clients who are board, are members of the board of, di or board of directors and in the board of directors in oil companies. So I thought that once I finished from school, in fact, we had discussed it. He was working in Union Bank. He retired from Union Bank. And he said he didn't want me to go into the banking system. Of course, banking is different now in our own generation. He didn't want me to go into the banking system, but we had discussed for me to go into the oil company. So he was just supposed to now speak to his clients, get my CV, and then you know take it to. Because of time, I'll just rush it. If you get my book, you read you read um, the extended version of the story. So God said, no, stay in that organization. It was hard. <laughs> Honestly, it was hard. But he said something, and I, I wanted to be wealthy. I, I, I still want to be wealthy. I don't consider myself wealthy now. He said something when I was practically like complaining and saying, okay, but how then do I get rich on $30,000 per, per month? He said, stay in this organization and I will teach you how to become wealthy. From that moment, henceforth, of course, that gave me, you know, sometimes when you hear the voice of God tell you something, he said, I will teach you how to become wealthy. That gave me a lot of rests just just calmed my nerves and then from that moment that's what they started to teach me the last lessons were hard <laughs> you read some of those lessons in my book the lessons were hard that's the honest truth i remember one time i didn't want to go into all these details so the lessons were hard you know it was tough but i went through the lessons and as i went through the lessons they even recommended books to me as I, and i went through those lessons i began to see that oh these things are profitable and they will work through, um, I think 2010, up until, was it um, 2015, thereabouts, it was just me and God, just God teaching me these lessons. He would direct me to this, direct me to that, just me and him learning these things. Yes, the recording, yes, the recording can be made available. Yeah, it's on YouTube right now. So I'm sure I'm, I'll just leave it on YouTube. I'll just leave it on YouTube. All right, so um, just me and him. From in 2015, I made a business move that I didn't lose money. However, I tied money down. 
And so at that point, I started to think, Lord, what's happening? I mean, you're supposed to be my business coach here. What's happening? And I didn't get any answer. I didn't get any response. After a while, it became clear that I needed a coach. And when, when that thought or inspiration came, I hope you're very honest with you. It's not like God told me you need a coach now. You need a mentor now. When that inspiration came, I had peace in me that, okay, I need a mentor that I can bounce things off and say, okay, this is what I want to do. That's what I want to do. So that was when I remembered that in secondary school, Dr. Cosmas Maduka was invited to speak one day. And in secondary school, I was a very rough guy. <laughs> I became born again when I was in the university. So in secondary school, um, I, I, I know how we were now in those days before we met Christ. So just, just, uh, I just thought this man that cannot speak good English. He just, he gave, he must have given the school authorities money, and that's why they invited him to come and speak. So, but then I just thought, let me even just hear what he wants, what he's saying. I heard only two sentences, guys, and I can't forget those sentences for the rest of my life. He said that he was struggling. And he went to buy spare parts. And whenever, where he was buying the spare parts to resell, there was a, a car shop. I need to say, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, please. There was a car shop right beside that place. And he said that one day he will own a car shop like that. He said, because of that, that dream. He stayed committed and built himself up to the point where he was at that time. Then I think he was a millionaire in dollars. Now he's a billionaire in dollars. I remembered him when I was thinking I needed a mentor. And so I started to search for him, but I didn't find him up until I think last year or so. I didn't find him. At last I found him because he's not on Instagram. He, he doesn't watch TV. When, you know, now that I've met him and we talk, he, he doesn't watch TV. He doesn't, he's not on Instagram. He's not on Facebook. He's not even on WhatsApp. Self. Sometimes when I send him a message, it can take two weeks before he responds. So he's not so much of, you know, that kind of thing. So it took some time for me to find him. At last I found him. And I'm telling you, man, my life has not remained the same. Why? Not because he gave me money. In fact, I'm always more willing to take something to him, to give him something than to collect. The major thing that I get from him is advice. At the beginning of this year, for all the members of the Biblical Billionaire Premium Club, you know this. At the beginning of this year, I was determined to hit billionaire status. I, I told every member of the club, I said, this year, I'm 18 billionaire status. And I had my plans all stretched out. And I think I, I knew what I was, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to hit billionaire status. But because I had learned before that you don't make big business moves without speaking to your mentor, I decided I would see him. It took a while for me to get the appointment because earlier this year, you know, he was engaged. So later on in the middle of the year, I was able to get the appointment. And when I, when I saw him and I told him the things I wanted to do, you know, we talked just for like maybe one hour plus, more than an hour or so. And then I told him the things I wanted to do my plans. And he said, no. At first, he, he even ignored it. <laughs> it was later on I came back and I said, these are my plans. These are, these are what I want to do. Can I move? Can I go ahead? And he said, no, don't. And I, I was shocked because, I mean, everything is fine. I was expecting him to say, impressive, good, go ahead. And I know that he has, he does that also, the same, exact same moves. He, he has done them before, and he probably still does. So I was asking why. And when I was pressing, he said, I've seen many people because of the five, because of the two that they want to get, lose the five that they have. All these things are in my book. Lose the five that they have. And he said, Femi, many people your age have not even smelled 10% of what you have. He said, don't lose it. Then he said something. He said, don't be in a hurry to become a billionaire. I did not tell him I wanted to become a billionaire. He's a man of God. You know, he has a spirit of God. I didn't tell him I wanted to become a billionaire this year. But he said, don't be in a hurry to become a billionaire. Immediately it struck me. I was running on emotions. I wanted to just get things done on emotions. And with that kind of mind, I could make mistakes. That was what he saw. Not that my plans were bad, or he saw that I was in a hurry. 
And he was able to help me out of that. It struck me immediately. Now, why did I say all this? I said all this because I want to be like your Dr. Cosmas. How would I put it? I want to be there to help you not to make money mistakes and to make the right money moves. In the Babika Billionaire Club this month, we've been talking about multiple streams of income. And I've made it clear to many people, they've seen clearly where they are financially and they are doing their, what they are doing. And they are now building multiple streams of income based on the things that they are learning. I want to be like that. Enough of introduction, guys. So let's go into today's part. We're talking about how to make money. Tomorrow I'll use it. What? We're talking about how to make money, how to become a money-making machine. Can you all hear me clearly? Because, because it's I usually monitor with my system, and the system seems to be distorted. It doesn't seem to be perfect. So, if you can hear me clearly, just confirm that to me. Just confirm that to me, so that I can. So I can I hear you sure. clearly. I can hear you clearly. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So. We're talking about um, the money maker, how to become a money making machine. If I, I mean, I, I don't want us to take too much time, but if I'm going to ask you, where is money? Oh, someone said not very clear. Mm, maybe it's network on your side because every other person can hear me clearly. So maybe it's network on your side. If I'm to ask you, where will you find money? How Some people will probably say they'll find money from the bank. You can't hear me clearly. Yes. Some people will probably say that they'll find money in the bank. Some people will probably say they'll find money in the CBN or wherever it is. Kindly mute your microphone, project. I'm muting oh. you and then you're muting yourself. Oh, sir. Please, I'm muting. All right, I'm still muting. I'm Okay. All right. Someone said where there is exchange of value. Very good. But before the value was exchanged, where was the money? The truth is, money is in the hands of people. Money is where? In the hands of people. And this is one of those things that, that God taught me, but I can't go into the details of how he taught me. But maybe I should explain how he explained it to me. He said, when you want to make money, what do you do? You give somebody value, and then the person gives you money. In other words, that money is in the hand of somebody. It's in somebody's bank accounts, and that person is in control of the money. This means that the more people you can have connections to and sell, the more money you will get. Then he said something to me. He said, don't chase money, chase people. Because the money does not decide where it goes, People decide where the money goes. Now, don't chase money, chase people. How do I chase people? Please, guys, pay attention, close attention to this because I get paid to teach this, but I decided to do this free of charge because there's a conference coming up very soon and then we're doing the pre conference um, challenge and it's fantastic. Everybody has to be a part of it. Don't chase money, chase people. And so I thought, how do I chase people? And that was the, it, it was like, uh, uh, um, it was like a conversation between myself and him. And that was like the perfect question for me to ask. And then he said, very good. Make people chase you. Boom, change my life. Make people chase you. And that was, you know, the beginning of certain other lessons. That I if money is in the hands of people, I'll, I'll teach you about the get rich triangle, you know, maybe tomorrow and onward, because there's a triangle of three things. Make people chase you. 
How do I make people chase me? And guys, this will help you make a lot of money. What do people want? What do they really chase? What do they really chase? You go to any markets, you see maybe um, Cadbury doing an advert, doing, you know, um, below the line publicity. And they come with free products. When they bring it and they say, well, everybody can get cowbell free of charge, can get pygmy free of charge. What happens? People rush them. People chase them rather than them chasing people. So what you need for people to start chasing you is a magnet, a magnet. It's called the lead magnet. Now, some of these things, later on, I began to, now when I now, you know, started searching for a mentor, started searching for knowledge, not just, you know, hearing from God, I now began to see some of the things that I knew already. And I saw that they had names, they had structures and all that stuff. It was a very, very interesting one. So you must have a lead magnet. There must be something that you have that you are using to magnet people to you for them to chase you. Now, what can your lead magnet be? Now, your lead magnet is something that you give free of charge. Just <laughs> wait a minute, don't worry, you will, you will get me um, better. Your lead magnet is something that you give free of charge. You give it out free, completely free, as a magnet to get them in. What are the things that can be your lead magnet? Number one, you can have an ebook as a lead magnet. Have an ebook as a lead magnet. Now, your um, ebook, it doesn't matter how many people you give it to, it's not costing you anything. So, you can have an ebook. You can have a simple framework or simple article, simple framework to solve a problem. So if I ask you now, what's the problem that you solve? So what business are you in? You probably tell me, oh, this is what I do. Maybe uh, I'm a dentist and I help people's, um, what I help them have good oral hygiene. Okay. A simple framework of like an article of how to keep your your, your teeth white and clean. You write one page, two pages, and then you give it out free. Let's, let's go. Number three is what I This is really what I, I you know, developed. Them. So you yeah, are my The richest man on your street, the richest man on your street is most likely most likely, the guy that sells to you at the end of that street, the guy that sells to you. If you have suya, your spots, nobody knows why, because the outsiders are very modest and conservative people. But that's why we have the richest man in Africa. I admire them a lot because they are rich. It's breaking. All right, can you hear me clearly now? Can you hear me clearly? Can you, hear me clearly? you guys can hear me. Oh, someone can hear me pray. That's it, man. Why is it big? All right, is it is it better now? Is it better now? It's better. Yes, I, I think it's better now, sir. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. All right, thank you. So. I'll go back to the Suyaman principle since you guys said you didn't hear that. So the Suyaman principle, probably the richest man on the streets, on your streets, if you live in Lagos, is the man that sells Suya at the end of that street. 
I've come to realize that the outside are very wealthy and they're not very wealthy because they make a lot of money. They're very wealthy because they have this strong discipline when it comes to making money, when it comes to money, strong discipline. They don't wear nice clothes like us. They don't drive nice rides, nice cars like us. They don't want to sleep in a hotel like us. They, they don't mind sleeping by the roadside. You get. So that's why the outside are very rich. Maybe one of these days in the Biblical Billionaire Club, who we'll discuss the tribes, the Yoruba, Al Ibo, and the Aosas. If you've seen my YouTube video about the Ibos, you've gotten probably a hint of that. And then how to maximize the characters of these people to become very well. In any case, the Suya man, when you get to his place, what's the first thing that he does? You have not said anything. You have not said you want to buy anything. You just come and stand in front of his um, stand where he sells Suya. What's the first thing he does? Who can answer? What's the first thing that the Suya man does? The moment you come and stand in front of him. What's the first thing he does? He will call a test for you. He calls for you he to, to encourage you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. He will cut a piece of the meat, put it in the pepper, and give it to you. You have not said you want to eat Suya. And that was, that was how God you know, showed me this lead magnet. You have not said you want to eat Suya. You just get there and then he cuts a piece and gives it to you. Many times, uh, even when I don't like the meat, out of guilt, <laughs> out of guilt that I don't chop this guy meat, I will buy. Now, whether it's out of guilt or whether you like the meat, somehow that thing works for all of them, all the suya men. That's why they've been doing it for a long time and then they have not stopped doing it. It's what the Bible says. Taste and see that the Lord is good. God will give you a taste. Once you've tasted it and you see that he's good, then he attracts you into his kingdom. So that's, that principle, I've always used it. For my clients, because I, I have a lot of clients, a number of clients who I you know, do marketing for and business consulting for. For my clients and even for students in this, in this um, club, I'm always going to share her own story sometime later. She sent me a message saying that she's occupied now, but she's going to share her story you know, later at the end of this class. Get a part of your product that you can give for free and go on, on Instagram, go on Facebook, go on Twitter, go on TikTok and say, who wants this thing absolutely free of charge? You'll see a lot of people rushing towards you. Now, when they come to you, I need to be fast because suppose we just want to usually teach this sometimes even in a home office. So when, when they come to you, what's the next thing that you do? Don't just let them come to you like that and go, no. When they come to you, first thing that you must do is collect their contact details. Collect their contact details. Collect their name, email address, phone number. Why? They are chasing after people, not after their money. You want to connect with people, not with their bank account. Naturally, by connecting with them, by giving them that sample, they will feel like they owe you. By connecting with them and giving them something of value, the next thing that happens is that they want to say thank you to you. So you have collected their name, email address, and phone number. All you now need to do is continue to give them value, continue to give them value. Give them value, let them know that there are things that they can pay for, but then there are also things that are free. If you do this consistently, you become a money-making machine. And this is just one of the principles, just one of the principles. I won't teach you everything I've been teaching them in the Bible because you didn't pay me, <laughs> all right? But this is just one of the principles. And in the conference, because you paid for the conference, in the conference, I'm going to, all right, thank you. In the conference, I'm going to share many of these principles also. How many of you are coming for the conference, the Biblical Billionaire Conference? I'm sure we all know about the Biblical Billionaire Conference. How many of you are going to be at the conference? You've registered already, you're going to be at the conference. You've registered already, you're going to be at the conference. Let me see your hand up. Very good, Tosin, Tosin hands up. You can put it in the chat box, so I will be there. Very good, very good. Nelson, I'll see you at the conference. Oh, Omololatu has registered for the conference. Fantastic. Fantastic. Three other people have their hands up. Fantastic. 
fantastic. At the conference, I will share many other principles with you. I will also share, even in this challenge, I will share with you the Get Rich Triangle. The three particular things in the triangle that will take you, this one, you start with this one. When you grow to a certain level, you move to the next one. When you go to a certain level, then you move to the next one. And then that last one at the top of the triangle is where the big boys are. That's where the billionaires are, all right? Ah, Kingsley, you have not yet registered. Go and register for the conference. Oh, go and register for the conference. Don't, don't be sleeping on a bicycle, all right? Register for the conference, okay? Um, this one said, if I choose to attend the conference virtually, but have the opportunity to be there physically, will a physical attendance still be possible for me? Yes, yes. If you chose to attend virtually, but now you can attend physically, just you can send me a DM, send me a DM, and um, I'll sort you out. I'll ask IT to change it in the back end. They'll change it and then help you register for fiscal attendance. All right. Oh, fantastic. Damela has registered with her husband. Very good. Conference link. Um, let me get that for you. Can somebody help us get that, please? Can somebody help us get that to be at the conference? Guys, nobody should miss the conference. The reason I'm excited about the conference is because, I mean, you can have me every time to, to share stuff with you, to teach you. You can have me every time. Members of the Bible Billionaire Club have me. In fact, they even have, of the premium club, they have my phone number. They are going through something. They want, they send me a message. I mean, <laughs> this just reminds me. The conference is 15,000 naira. 15,000 naira. Okay, so let me just talk about the conference for the sake of those who probably don't have the details. At the conference, we're going to have myself, my humble self, we're going to have Dr. Cosmas Maduka. Dr. Cosmas Maduka is a billionaire. And when I say billionaire, I'm not talking billion naira. He's a billionaire in dollars. In other words, if dollars is, if one dollar is 700 naira now, Dr. Cosmas Maduka is worth more than 700 billion naira. He's my personal mentor. I'm highly privileged, highly privileged to have him as my mentor. Highly privileged to have him lay hands on me and pray for me because I know that it's not just about the principles, it's also about the spirit. And at the con I've, I've done my best to ensure that he's available at the conference. Not, I don't just want him to teach me. He will teach me. He will help me. You know, he, and he has been doing that, and I thank God. But even beyond that, I want him to teach you also personally, to teach you and to also pray for you. By God's grace, he's going to pray for us. At the Biblical Billionaire Club, when we have billionaires come and meet with us, because we've also had a number of billionaires that we invited as guests to come and teach us. You can join the Bible, you can join the conference online. You can join the conference online too. Yes, you can choose virtual attendance after registering for the conference. So, when we have, conf uh, I mean, we had um, Mr. Tony Cole not too long ago at the Bible Billionaire Premium Club, and when he came after talking to us and people asked questions, everybody, I ensured every single person asked him a question. Imagine having a billionaire right in front of you, and you can ask him any question, any question. I made sure I had to beg, I said, please, I know that you have to go, but please, every single person needs to ask you their question. All right? So after that class, he prayed for us. And this is one thing. This is why he's right the next club and not just any other place. All right? Here, we believe in the power of God, and we believe that God gives the power to get well. He has already given it to some people. Those people should come and pray for us and also extend it to us because grace is impartable. You can impart grace. All right? Fantastic. Chioma. You say you register today. That's very good. That's very good. So register today, please. Yes, that's the link for people who want to buy the ticket. Now, um, we have Dr. Cosmas Maduka that will be with us. We have Nia Desonya also who will be with us. Um, Mr. Nia Desonya is the highest paid business coach in Nigeria. Most of the billionaires, most of the billionaires who you know, Mr. Nia Desonya is the one that coaches them. So sometimes, the coach of Ronaldo is not still Ronaldo. However, he made still Ronaldo. Okay? So, Mr. Nia Adesanya is also going to be with us to also come and coach us. What he teaches the billionaires, we want him to come and teach us. And that's why I did everything I could. Guys, you need to know, I, I used my relationships to ensure that these people come to teach. Why? Because the things, and I know for Nia Adesanya, for example, he charges six million naira for his coaching sessions. Six million naira. And people are rushing to pay. The reason they are rushing to pay is because the last, last person he coached, that person made maybe 100 million naira from the six million. So people are just rushing to come and pay six million. And I know that many people cannot afford it. Many people who really need this knowledge and want to become wealthy 
cannot afford, excuse me, cannot afford six million naira for him to coach them. So I just had to use relationship by God's grace to say, okay, let him come. And by God's grace, he will be with us. And that's on the 14th to 16th of October, just about two weeks from now. He'll be with us to teach us some of these things that he has been teaching billionaires. I, I posted a video recently where he himself. In the Nigerian stock exchange, for every single industry in Nigeria, he has coached at least one out of the first three. Every, I'm talking banking industry, he has coached at least one out of the first three. Oil industry, one out of the first three. Every single industry in Nigeria. And he is coming to teach you how to make money. I'm excited about the conference because some of these people, so, you know, when you want to connect with these kind of people and learn from them, you go through a long process. But now I'm making it very easy. I'm not asking you to even pay six million. <laughs> and honestly, when we were looking at how much we're going to cost, how much this was going to be worth, it was going to be worth 150,000 naira. But I told the team, and I don't know if a member of the team is here, the particular person, a lady. She said, ah. <laughs> I said, no, we're going to make it very, 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 very affordable. I know, yes, right now I'm spending my own money, millions of, of my own money to put this conference together. But my dream is to see Christians also become billionaires. My dream is to see that when I look at the captains of industries, it's Christians that are there. It's Christians that are there. If you buy your tickets right now, just put it in the chat box and say, I've gotten my ticket. So right now, as we speak, you can go to that link and get your tickets. It's just 15,000 naira. Just 15,000 naira. And really ask yourself, what better thing can 15,000 naira do for me? What better thing? You take it to the cinema. How will it better your life? You used to buy a nice dress or a nice clothes. How will it better your life? And you have lost 15,000 naira many times. So just assume that this one is gone and use it to improve your life. Not only will Dr. Cosmas Maduka be with us and uh, Nia Desanya be with us, we we'll also have Trisha Bees. How many of you know Trisha Bees? You know Trisha Bees, guys. You know Trisha Bees. Just say, say, I know her. I know her. I know her. You know Trisha Bees. You know Trisha Bees. If you know Trisha Bees, you know that she's, she's a guru. Yeah, fantastic. Great, Richard. She's a guru when it comes to helping small businesses to thrive and to make a lot of money. Very good. Very good. I'm glad that there are people who know her here because she's very popular. <laughs> so I'll be surprised if you don't know her. So um, she's a guru in helping, you know, other businesses. Trisha Bees is going to be with us in this our challenge. One of the days, I won't tell you the day, so that you are with us every single day of the challenge because I'm taking it step by step, step by step. Today, I've taught you about lead magnets. I've taught you where money really is, that money is not in bank accounts. Money is with people. Even though it's in the bank account, it's people that control it, all right? You participated in a marketing challenge. Fantastic. Very good. Helen. So Trisha Bees is going to be with us. And she's going to teach us. And I've, I've told this people, I said, please, don't come and just teach anything. Teach what you will teach your younger brother, what you will teach your younger sister. My younger brother is, is here in front of me. He's going to the university. He's, he's, um, he's resuming sometime next month. And I'm teaching him things that I will not ordinarily tell. I've, seen, I've had other young people around me go to the university. I'm teaching him things. I'm telling him when you get to university, this and this and this is what you should do. Because before you come out of the university, you must be a millionaire before you come out of the university. So that's, that's, that's exactly what these people are. Come and just teach what you will teach your own sibling. What you always only teach people indoors. Because I, I was a billionaire, um, is it two weeks ago? This particular billionaire, I wanted him to come and teach at the conference, but he refused and said he's not going to teach. Why? And he said it clearly to me. He said, these things I always tell you indoors, I can't go and say it outside because people will judge me. He's, and I said that, but I mean... <laughs> You want more people to become wealthy, but you're not teaching. You are not ready to come and teach it in public. So, well, I'm still hoping that you at least attend, attend so that maybe next time we'll have the opportunity. But because I told him, don't teach just anything. Teach only what you can teach people indoors. That's why he said, Femi, count me out. He said, he said something. He said, many Christians don't always want to hear the truth. So if I come out and I say these things that you're asking me to teach, and mind you, it's not, it's not um, sin. I will never be a part of sin by God's special grace. Never, never. He said, if I come out and I start teaching these kind of things, people will start judging me. And he said, he won't teach. 
All right. So really, that's to show you what we are putting into this conference. Not only will Trisha Bisbee with us, we'll have Shola Adeshakin also. Shola Adeshakin is a member of the Forbes Coaches Council. You know Forbes, Forbes list, you know, his list of billionaires. And for somebody to be amongst their coaches, you know, this is a coach of billionaires. You understand? So she's in the Forbes um, Coaches Council and she's going to also be teaching at this conference, at this conference. Beyond, um, beyond just head knowledge or what's called principles for money, we will also be praying. We'll have Honorable Sheya Adisa too, I, um, unless I forget. Honorable Sheya Adisa, Honorable Sheya Adisa was very successful in the business world and now he's in the government space. And it's important, let me tell you the truth. One of the things that people don't tell you is, have you ever seen a billionaire or a rich person complaining about the economy? One of the major things, one of the major problems. See, guys, you need to get this book. You need to get this book. How to get rich, stay rich, and get richer. The graphic designer, when the graphic designer that was now that did the layout for the book, when he was doing it, when we we're meeting to do some corrections, he said that the little part of the book that he read is like somebody poured his heart out into the book. He said it's like somebody, he said he has to sit down and read the entire book because he was just working on it. So, guys, you need to get the book. I mentioned that in the book. If you see somebody that is complaining about the economy and saying, ah, this economy is hard, this economy is hard, I beg shit from that person. Don't let him stain you with poverty. How to get rich, stay rich, and get richer. It's not yet out. It's not yet published. It's not yet out. How to get rich, stay rich, and get richer. Is three days really enough for the six? Yes. <laughs> Chama said it's three days enough. Yes, three days is actually enough. We've done the program already, and three days is actually enough. Three days is actually enough. Of course, um, let's, let's, let's be realistic with ourselves. They can't teach you everything that they know in their head within three days. They can't. But what they teach you will be enough for you to become a millionaire if you're not yet a millionaire. And if you're a millionaire already, it will take you higher. It will take you higher. Definitely take you higher. And if you're smart enough to build on what they have taught you, it will take you to billionaire status. Because they've taught me these things. I've learned these things from them. So I know what I'm talking about. So they can't teach you everything that is in their head within three days. Definitely. Even me. Even me, as passionate as I am about teaching these things, I can't teach you everything that is in my head within three days. That's why up till now, I don't have an online course. I don't have an online course because I'm not in this for money. Yes, I will make money and money will come in, but I'm not in this for money. I'm in this majorly for the passion. That's why what I have is a coaching program. When it comes out, yeah, it's gonna, you, you get it at the conference, definitely to be out at the conference. We're launching it majorly at the conference. But even before the conference, if you invite somebody to join the Biblical Billionaire Club, I'll send you the ebook in batches, in batches. So it's not in maybe you invite somebody, then I'll send it to no, no, no. Invite somebody to join the Biblical Billionaire Club. Let them fill that pop up form on femiadesire.com. Let them fill that, that, that pop up form. Once they fill the form, send their name and email address to Biblical Billionaire Club at gmail.com, Biblical Billionaire Club at gmail.com. And then you can uh, you get the, the book for free, the ebook for free. But you will need the hard copy too, because ebook is not usually uh, convenient to read like that. The conference is happening at the redemption camp, redemption camp, October 14 to 16. It's happening at the redemption camp, um, October 14 to 16. So there's free accommodation, hostel accommodation, if you don't have enough money to pay for a private room. But you know that when it's hostel accommodation, there are many bathrooms have been there to inspect the hostel. There's AC in the hostel. However, there are many bathrooms. And during this conference, you are going to be taking attendance for every session. So, and because that's because when you want to be, if I'm, I'm raising billionaires, all right? So I'm not just doing conference, no, I'm raising billionaires. So punctuality is one of the major qualities of wealthy people. So that's why we're taking attendance. So with many bedrooms, God will help you to be in to be in the sessions very, very quickly. Would there be opportunities for personal interactions? Yes. Yes. Um, yes, you can join virtually. You can join virtually. After making payments, I've not seen anybody say that they have made payments right here on the call. Guys, go and make payments if you have not yet made payments. After making payments, you'll be redirected to a web page where you can choose virtual attendance. So when you choose virtual attendance, you join virtually, and then we will send you the link when the conference is closed. Maybe on that same morning of the conference starting, we will send you the link so that you can join. All right. So, um, somebody asked a question. 
Opportunities for people to talk. Yes, I think I should talk about that. At the conference, because I've gone to many conferences where they say we should network and then just leave us. And some people are shy, some people are introverts. They don't know how to network. So, but at this conference, before the conference date, you'll be grouped into companies. So you'll be like maybe 20, I'm not sure how many in a particular company. For example, there's Unilever, there's Cadbury, there's Chicken Republic. And then you are the board members of that company. You'll be grouped into those companies before the conference. That's, I think, when we had the meeting, the pre -registra the registration team that are doing the grouping, I think they said they will send it to you two days before the conference. The names of the other people in your in your company. And um, on the 14th, we're starting at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. We're starting at 5 p.m. on the 14th. All right, so you, you'll be grouped into those companies. You'll not be giving case studies and problems to solve, real life problems to solve. You guys would meet on Friday. You will meet, you have your first meeting on Friday. It's in the program. You have your first meeting on Friday where you discuss it. Now, the reason I really, really am doing this is not just because I want you to solve this problem, which is good. And that's really what they do in MBA. Solve case studies, resolve it. And I want you to do that. But apart from that, also, I want you all to talk to each other. I want you to network. I want you to get to know each other. So if you are in, the, in that group and you are intelligent, you are smart enough, you can stand out amongst them and then somebody can see you and say, oh, I want to connect with you. Two people can decide to start a business together. Yes, the grouping will also happen online. So those of you who are attending virtually, you will also be in a group by yourself too. And you also meet to discuss your case studies. All right? You also meet. Your case study will be given to you. When you register, when you come for registration, you'll be given your access tag, your ticket, for, uh, your access tag or ticket. You'll be, it will be given to you. Your case study will be given to you also because you are in Unilever company, for example. You also be given your case study so that by the time you are meeting on that Friday evening, you guys would already, everybody has a case study. You have read it. It's not time for you to discuss. On Saturday, you will have another meeting, the second meeting, and then one of you will be chosen in the group to go and do the presentation for everybody. All right? So this is really how to network. I'm, I'm, I'm so neat into the conference. All right? So everybody's going to discuss amongst each other. They're going to all gist and discuss. And then somebody is going to go out and present and speak to everybody, present their solution to the problem or case study. And then you will be scored. A friend of mine, very good friend of mine, I'm going to ask him to join us in one, in one of these days in this challenge also. Um, Neo Bafemi, he is the chairman and um, CEO of Giddy Cakes. If you live in Suriliri, you are likely to know Giddy Cakes. They have about two or three shops in, in Suriliri. And Giddy Cakes makes over a hundred million naira every year. Over a hundred million every year. So he's he's sound when it comes to business. And he's the one who is going to be handling these case studies and also scoring you to see if you solve that problem very well and all that. It's just going to be very, very exciting time. Very, very exciting time. Very exciting time. Yeah, so you must not miss this conference. You, if, if you do, Nassim, <laughs> I see. Very, very nice. Very interesting. If you do, if you miss this conference, Nassim. All right, so... Um, New York Bafemi already has the case studies and he's going to, you know, give it to you, you know, when it's time. You guys will discuss it and you do your presentation. Whoever is chosen amongst you, not everybody can. I wish I could give everybody a button to talk on stage, at least to show, you know, their stuff, their stuff, what they have. And when you're talking on stage, some of these coaches will also be around, all right? Some of these coaches will also be around at the time they're talking on stage. So, I mean, it's, it's a very nice one. It's one. What I've always longed for and then it's happening here. So, um yeah i think that's it if anybody has any question you can ask me but i want omola to talk to us to prove to you that what i taught you today works that what i taught you today what that it works that you should pursue people and then if you pursue people you will keep getting business forever you'll be very very rich hope virtual attendees won't miss no virtual attendees will not miss anything virtual attendees will also do their presentation so there will be a very large screen there at the hall, right in the middle of the stage. And when it's time for you to present, you also will pick somebody amongst you and that person will present, put on their camera, of course, and then do the presentation for the entire hall. All right, so virtual attendees will be in everything because there are a number of members of this club who are in the UK, some are in Canada, in other parts of the world. Those are members of the club that I know, premium club members that I know already. You understand? So, and, and they are registering, they have registered for this. I can't leave them out of that. 
And that's apart from the fact that even for the conference, many people in, in diaspora have also paid for the conference. You know, they pay in, the, in USD. So I see it when I'm looking at the report. I see those are paid in USD. I know that oh, these are people in diaspora. So you guys are not, um, I can't leave you out of it. So you'll be a part of it. How to join the premium club? Okay, thank you very much. How much is private room? Private room is from 15,000 and above. So the lowest is 15,000. I think the next is 20,000. Hmm? 22. I don't know. Um, Samuel, is, <laughs> Samuel is assisting the person in charge of accommodation. So the lowest is 15,000 Naira, and you can just choose. So when you go to the website, that, that link that's been put there for when you buy your ticket, you just go there, you click, you will see all the options. Free hostel, free hostel accommodation is absolutely free of charge. And then you can now choose a private room. I would advise that you actually get a private room because if you're in a private room, you, you are sure that you're coming early you know, for, for sessions. And then when you get back to your room, whatever you have learned, you can always write it down. But I know that so not everybody can get a private room. That's why we made free hostel accommodation available. That's why we made it available. And it's comfortable. There are ACs in it. I will not give you, I see you as billionaires. So I will not give you low standard, all right? There are ACs in the, in the what's it called? In the hostel. But you will get a message. For those who have free hostel accommodation, there's no bed spread for you. You have to bring your own bed, bed spread and your blankets. You will get a message you know, from the registration team. Then there's also free meal. And the reason I gave the free meal, and my team, even now, I'm beginning to think, hey, why did I do free meal? But the reason I actually did free meal is because I don't want anybody thinking about what they will eat. That's why at the point of registration, how many people per room? If it's a private room, you choose if you want, if you if two of you are registering for the program, um, for the conference, two of you can stay in one person's private room. That, that's for you. But for the hostel, for the hostel, I know that there are at least 50, because maybe even eight, maybe even eight in one, although the bathrooms, there's a long um line of bathrooms, but I didn't count those bathrooms, it may not be more than maybe 10. You understand? So you know, that, that's one of the reasons why you should get a private room if you can afford a private room. But if you can't afford a private room, it's still fine. The hotel is comfortable. You just have to make sure that you are fast, all right? Get into the bathroom before everybody else. All right, so I will say, um, the reason we did, I'm, I'm coming to the premium club. I'm coming to the premium club. Um, what's the name? I'm coming to the premium club, Chris West. So the reason we did um, free food, is because I don't want anybody thinking about food, that's why on registration, when you get to the other place, <laughs> when you get to the, the link that I, redi that I redirected to, you would choose the meals that you want, and then the caterer is going to make, that, make your food. When it's almost time for break, they bring your food to you right where you are seated, and then you can just go and eat. All right? So I don't want you thinking about what to eat and all that stuff. I want you to concentrate. It's costing me money. That's the truth. Because right now, I'm now thinking, how did I even do free meal? I mean, you are coming for lectures. I, I, why did I do free meal? It's costing me money, but um, I'm not backing down. I'm not backing down by those reasons. If you want to contribute, please, very welcome. We have already put millions into it, and um, we would really, really appreciate contributions if you think that this is very good. This, in fact, contributions actually made me very excited, very happy. My sister sent some money yesterday. She said she wishes she could do more. But she sent some money and it was very good. And I, I was very, very encouraged. The person that gave me this book as a gift, I told you about it. I'm encouraged by it. I'm encouraged by it. All right. So if you are contribu contributing, that would be a very good encouragement for us to do, to do more of this. All right. So that's why we're giving free food. So you're getting free food. You're thinking of registering your son. Very good. Please register your son. Please. And I don't know whether I should say what I would say. <laughs> but the truth is that people that are below 25, are easier to teach because their mind is not set. I've come to discover in my time of coaching that people that are 25 and above, they always feel as if they know, all right? So, but those that are below 25, they are easier, they are more flexible. So please, if you have a teenager or you have someone that is below 25, that is in their early 20s, they are easier to teach. When you teach them, they grab it fast and then you see the result. And I'm, I'm all for the result. You see the result in them very fast. So please do register your son, Matthew. Please register your son. Now, how to join the premium club? The Biblical Billionaire Premium Club um, has about 120 something members, if not 130 right now. Admin would know the figure. So, um, to join the premium club, it is only 20,000 per year. Practically everything that we're doing 
the club is very inexpensive. But the premium club um, fee is likely to go up um, very soon because of the dollar price and all that. But right now, it's 20,000 naira per year and 2,000 naira per month. So if you, after the conference, the fee is likely to go up. It's going to go up. I think it's going to go up definitely because the numbers are not adding up anymore. So, um, right, but if you lock in right now, it's 20,000 naira per year and 2,000 naira per month right now. So if you pay for a year, then you are in for a year. But if you pay for one month after the conference, then you will need to renew with that. We have seven classes every month in the premium club. And most of the stories I tell you, most of the people who are making money in the Bible club are in the premium club because that's where, you know, we really have the classes. That's where the juice really is. Okay, so I want to have Amolola share her story with you. So Amolola, where are you? Amolola, are you there? Yeah. yeah. You can unmute. Hey, some people have their hands up. To me and Chris Wears, you can put whatever you want to say in the chat box. We don't have time anymore. So let's have Omolola very quickly. Omolola, please share your experience using, especially using the Spearman principle. Share your experience and how it has been, how much money you have made. Okay. Good evening, sir, and good evening, everyone. Um, yes, good evening. My name is Omolola. Uh, I'm a creative director. I'm the creative director of Lusodium. I um, train students on fashion designing and also um, sell sewing tools, make um, fashion wears, wedding dresses. But majorly, in based on what we are saying tonight, I'll be talking more on the training aspect. So I do online courses as well and. Some of them. I'm also a member of the Biblica Billionaires Premium Club in quotes. So that's why I can share this testimony. Um, okay, so I used one of the funnels that coach talks about, and which um, is called the Swearman Principle. So what we did is so from the Swearman Principle, you already know that you're meant to give them something just so they can have an idea because the truth is when you keep telling people oh i'm selling this i'm selling this they don't know how good that thing is until when you when you say oh okay just take a little bit of this to see and then when they see they're like oh this is nice and they can call others to come in and one thing that you will notice about nigerians is when you call something free <laughs> you will be the one to beg them to stop coming to you because they would always come and so what we did was um, coach helped with um, doing a Facebook ad where um, I, was, I was meant to teach, do a free webinar on a particular course regarding fashion designing. Already I had the course I was going to sell to them. So we made the free course and a lot of people entered the funnel. We had um, three groups, three WhatsApp group feuds and at the time, WhatsApp was the, the limit was 256. So if I'm saying three WhatsApp group, we had almost a thousand or 900 plus. And then, so I taught them, we used the Zoom. I taught them the class and we also recorded that particular class. Now, the reason why we recorded is because we also want to think ahead of what we are doing. So it was not just a one time, one off thing that just teach them and go. You can't just teach, you can't do Facebook ad, get the amount of people and then teach them and leave them to go. And you're not selling anything to them. You're also not targeting them later. So we recorded the Zoom class. And I have a YouTube channel as well, which the, the Fabrica Studio Club has also helped me to achieve. I opened it when I joined the club, courtesy of Coach that pushed us to do it. <laughs> So um, I recorded the Zoom class and then I saved it up on the YouTube channel. So during the Zoom class, there were points where we talked when I, where I talked about the paid class. So even though I was teaching them for free, so it's just like you going to the Suya man, buying Suya, you already know that the one you are eating isn't all there is. So if you want much more, you will still need to pay. It's just giving you like a tip of the iceberg. So um, talk, talk about the paid class, tell them, oh, since you already see what we thought here, imagine if you are going for a paid class, it's going to be more. And, you know, so we're able to get people to register. 
Now I said it at that point, but because I had a recording of that class and I took it off, posted it on YouTube, you would, because I used a Zoom platform, it means that not everybody was around for that meeting. So if you call a meeting, for example, like the meeting we're having now, some people will come later and say, oh, I missed the uh, meeting. Can I get a recording and all of that? So I took off the recording and put it on YouTube. And what that does for me is that because in the course of the meeting, I already said that they take class. So people are aware. Now, people will go two weeks after the meeting had happened. They can watch that video and realize that there's a paid class and then reach out to me to say, oh, I watched this meeting you had some time ago. I'd like to register. And this actually happened. So I'm not saying, oh, it's going to happen. This happened because people go on the YouTube channel, watch, send me messages. I went to your YouTube video. I saw this. Can I still register? And because they are online courses, pre-recorded videos, you have access to it. So they get to see it. Now, after we, now you, you think, oh, that, that old thing is for that online class again. But there's something called retargeting. Um, Coach taught us in the biblical, the premium club, that even those that you have, Facebook does that same thing. If you do the Facebook ad again, you retarget the people that have seen your ads before. So because you already have people, we already have people on the WhatsApp group, about three WhatsApp group field, not all of them paid. Only few of them paid. And there's something we have been taught in Premium Club that um, in terms of marketing, you, there has to be a trust process. And before people can trust you, you will need to spend time with them. So let's take it that a lot of people didn't register so much as what we had in terms of the funnel. So we had almost 1,000 people, but we didn't have 1,000 people register. But we didn't dump them because we still had them on the WhatsApp group. And so what I was doing was sending a few tips on the group. Sometimes I was send things on the paid class and say, oh, this is what some of the students from the paid class did. So those that were not interested in paying before, they will be like, oh, okay, this is not bad. Let me register. And because of the things I do, I also sell sewing tools. I can retarget them again because my target audience are the ones that are on that group. So I can retarget them again to say, oh, I sell the sewing tool. This is a new sewing tool that came out. I'm sending it to them. I open my YouTube channel. When I drop a video, I can send the link to them. If I create another online course, I can send them that old flyer and everything. So I'm not as much as, okay, I want to get new people, but I already have about 900 plus people in my funnel that I can sell to again. And these people from time to time, some of them will come and say, oh, I've, some people will not even buy. But because they've known you before, they will refer you to someone that doesn't even know you at all. They'll be like, oh, I've not bought from her, but I've been with her for a while. I've been in her group for over um, a month or two months. So she's credible. You can buy from her. You can buy from so Recently, I had that. I had I made up more than an 100 plus sale from people talking about my brand in another group, saying things like, oh, I know her. Somebody was asking, do you know this, this business, the sodium? Can I buy from her? And people were like, oh, I know I bought from her before. And that person was even like, she's my person. If anything happens, we go to her house. And the person just came to my DM and said, oh, you are credible. I'm buying from you because people vouch for you. And she paid and we got to deliver to her. So it's the same thing with don't wait until you, oh, if all of them in the phone must buy. No, your goal should be when they don't buy the first time, don't be discouraged but keep them engaged. Let them keep remembering you that you are there and retarget them again for another thing. And even, even don't try to sell to them so much, just share free things. So yeah, you just like, just always remember the Suya principle, just give them, give them, give them. Sometimes they'll even be the one to ask you, oh, this thing you're giving us, is there something more that we can, even if we don't mind paying, is there something more we can, we can get aside from the little one we are getting from you? It gives them the trust. I've had a physical student come to register and she said, because of seeing the, it was actually from the free class, the, the funnel we created. And she came in, when she came, I said, okay, how did you hear about us? She said, oh, I'm in one of your free classes. So I just thought I can do a physical class with you. And she paid. So there's really no limitation. It's, you might, when you're starting, you're starting with so one thing in mind, I want to um, sell my online course. 
but you have to think far and you, you can get so much more. So I'll just like to end here. So I won't take so much Thank of you. time. If you want to know Thank more, you. join Thank us you. in the premium club. Yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so come and join us. Come and join us. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Omala. See, Omala practically just taught you. <laughs> she just gave you like a master class. And that's it. And she's talking from experience. She's talking from experience. The things that, you know, she and I, I just like it when somebody learns and then practices it. I just like it. I remember the day that um, that she did the video for that advert. I just thought on how to structure your videos when you're doing an advert. The first thing to say, the next thing and all that. And after the class was over, after the class was over, you know, I knelt down, prayed. And maybe in 20 minutes or so, I just got a message on, on WhatsApp. With, it was her video. She said, what do you think about this? Sir? Can I push it out? And I just did a few corrections. By the next day, the video was ready. I like I like those kind of students. So if you're that kind of student, please come into the Bible Club. Hey, she gave me a run for my money. I'm the one that said open YouTube channel. <laughs> Omolola hit 1,000 subscribers before me. Before me. And I honestly, it makes me excited. And I always say it. I, I always say it with pride. Even though I'm not supposed to be proud. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be proud about that. But she surpassed me. I don't know if now, see, 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 see. <laughs> I don't know if now she has more subscribers than me, but you know, we, we did a race. Because by the time I said, ah, this baby's catching up. I said, okay, let's race to 1,000. And we did that race. Of course, the race to 1,000 was also a push. Because that's one thing I also do. Sometimes, you know, you need a push. Everybody needs a push. When you want to relax, sometimes you need someone to push you. So, you know, let's race to 1,000. And bam, 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 bam. She just hit 1,000. And she posted it on the group to say, hey, everybody, see, I've hit 1,000 before, coach. <laughs> so um, very, very good. So, I mean, she has just told you many of those things, you know, that, that you've learned, that, that, that she has learned and that she has used and that are working for her. And the customers are still coming. Why? Because she didn't chase the money. She chased the people. The people automatically control the money. All right? So she chased the people goes the people in, gives them value every now and then, and then money is flowing in. I remember one morning when I woke up and I saw a message from her, and she said, I don't know what to do, coach. My, she had the products that had been in her store for maybe some months or so, but it had been there, it wasn't selling, it was just there. And then she created a YouTube video and posted it um, in the night, woke up, excuse me, woke up the next morning and she was sold out. Now the problem was prices have gone up. What do I do? People are still demanding for it. Something that did not sell for months just by implementing one principle. It didn't sell for months. And overnight, boom, the problem was now, how do I now fulfill all these other people's orders? Especially because the price I mentioned in the video has changed. So what do I now do? And that was a question that she also asked when um, we had the billionaire with us, um, Tony Eko, about the exchange rate and what to do about it. So guys, the premium club is a very, um, if I was not the one in the, um, the one that started Biblical Billionaire Club and I hear about the premium club, I would definitely join it. It's a club that you should be a part of. You should be a part of. So if you want to be a part of the premium club, um, I don't want to give you the face tackle link because when things, when the price goes up, so, but, but then um, I'll, I'll put it on the, I'll put it here for those who want to be a part of the premium club. I'll put it here. All right. So if you want to be a part of the premium club, 10,000 rand per year or 2,000 rand per month. Um, if you do a transfer, send your WhatsApp number and a, what's it called? And your proof of payment to biblicalbillionaireclub at gmail.com. How many of us are going to be at the conference? The conference is here. Hey, I'm excited about that one. The conference is here, guys. How many of us are going to be at the conference? I want to see you at the conference. Bring a friend. Don't come alone to the conference. I've had people saying, fantastic, Chris West. I've had people saying that they are coming. There are three that are coming. There are two people. Because sometimes after learning something, it's good that you have somebody else that you are checking each other and, you know, helping each other. All right. Fantastic. Tell me. Fantastic. 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 I remember, ah, I remember, sorry, I don't know if that's it, but I don't want, I don't want to mother the name. I've invited two of my friends and they are paid. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Mother. 
Um, we'll see you there, sir. Yes, I'll see you there, Timmy. You will be there, Abisola. Fantastic. To me, I will be there. Fantastic. Great, 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 great. Guys, guys, guys. Yes, you can join online. You can join online. You can join online. You made someone register. Fantastic. See you there. Good, good. So you can also join the, um, if you can't be at the conference physically, you can be at the conference. Ah, what's this? Oh? Is somebody sharing screen? Okay, guys, um, we have to close now. All right, guys, we have to close now. Let's have somebody pray for us. Can we have Yinka pray for us? Yinka, would you be to pray for us? Is Inka there? Inka is not there. Okay, can we have Tammy pray for us, please? Tammy. Very good. Um, Joseph, yes, please. Just go ahead, pay with that link. You can go to my Instagram, Femi Adisa, Femi underscore Adisa on Instagram. The link to make payments is at, on my bio, Femi Adisa, Femi Adisa, Femi underscore Adisa on Instagram. The link to make payments is on my bio. Go there and then you register for the, for the conference. And if you are in diaspora, you're not um, going to be available physically, you can choose virtual. The conference location is Redemption Camp. Redemption Camp. Redemption camp, Lagos by the expressway. So it's just at the outskirts of Lagos. So it's preferable that you do physical attendance. If you are not doing physical attendance, do virtual attendance. Just make sure that you get all those lessons. Just make sure that you get all those lessons. So people have been asking if virtual attendees are going to pay the same amount. Yeah, so because what you are getting is way more than you know, 15,000 naira. So you are paying the same amount. The free food is just an extra burden. I put on myself out of my passion to ensure that nobody is distracted during the conference. All right. So, yes, you are going to pay the same amount. Who is going to pray for us now? I asked Timmy to pray, but it doesn't seem like Timmy is available. All right. Can we have Joseph pray for us? Can we have Joseph say the closing prayer? Joseph, you don't direct message. Say the closing prayer. Joseph or Chai. All right, Ugo Chuku's All right. hand is okay. up, so I maybe. Was, I was trying to connect. <laughs> okay, Joseph, is okay, yeah, fantastic. Joseph, please. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, loud and clear. Sorry, it's a little bit late here. I was just joining, I'm hours ahead. <clears throat> Uh, in oh, Jesus' name, interesting. Uh, Father, Amen. Lord, one, one thank you for today. One thank you for life. One thank you for this Lord. beautiful, Amen. peaceful, and educated gathering. Thank you for all the knowledge you, you impacted in every one of us. Thank you for thank you, Lord. The, the work you're using, Mr. Fermi, to do in our lives. Thank you for all the knowledge and all the learning we've gone through all this month and uh, give us strength and the wisdom to continue to come together and share experiences and knowledge. And uh, mm -hmm. as we round up this uh, meeting tonight, Father Lord, we want to commit everybody into your hand, guide and protect all of us and uh, bring us back safely for another safe gathering. And as the conference is approaching further, make it a success. Grant us the will Amen. to be there and learn in Jesus' name. <laughs> May God share the grace, please. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you all so very much. We'll meet again tomorrow by 9 p.m. Tomorrow, 9 p.m. It's going to be 9 to 10. Tomorrow, I won't be doing the introduction of the club anymore, so we can start early and finish on time. God bless you all. Everything where you put your hand for, do work in Jesus' name.